The ruins of the forgotten. Now you finally get pieces that have the little riders on them. And you get to rip out their eyes for the little bonus whatever you get for getting 20 of them. The absolute easiest way to kill these guys is get those damn riders off their back. Kill the riders and then take care of the Cyclops. Just walk up to the Cyclops and press circle to grab the the rider and then you uh, do your little joysticks in circles and then when the rider is off the back of the Cyclops he is 50 times easier to kill. And just wait for the Cyclops to punch the ground and then you can do two square square triangles right in a row. No problem. Square square triangle. Square square triangle. If the rider is on the back of the Cyclops, he goes crazy. He is just a pain in the ass and you don't want to deal with it. Oh, I messed that up. That sucks. So you go through the little sequence of buttons. I think you got to press four of them. Yeah, four. You rip out the eye. You have acquired one Cyclops eye. And then two more of the riders come up. And just kill one rider at a time. That's one of them. And when it's on the back of the Cyclops, just walk up to the Cyclops Whoa. after it's done swinging. Do not want to get hit by that. Walk up the Cyclops and press zero. Press zero. Circle. Press circle. And then just keep grabbing the rider. And as you probably know by now, when you are grabbing a bad guy, you can't be hurt by other people. And now just do the same thing that you did before. And they are dead. Easy enough, right? Ninety percent of getting through the Titan difficulty, at least for me, <clears throat> is just knowing what to do, knowing the best strategies. This is the second time I've played through Titan difficulty, the time that I'm recording it. Um, and I get through it pretty quickly, but that's because the first time I play through it, I struggle unbelievably. <laughs> it's just lots and lots of work to figure out the right strategy, at least for me, because I do this completely on my own. I don't use other people's guides. I don't, you know, take other people's strategies. I do this completely on my own. Except I did use a guide to find all the different treasure chests. I'm not going to lie about that. There's no way I could have found some of these. Um, so just keep jumping on top of that block to get this treasure chest and don't destroy that block that's on the ground first or else you will not be able to get that treasure chest that's in the air. And at this point in the game for me, after I open this next treasure chest, I have enough experience to upgrade my blades. Very nice. Great success.
And I died doing this next section, so that's why that little bad cut was right there. Beat him to death with his own arm. How badass is that? Now this is kind of a weird little glitch. All the bats are technically in that area down below and there is an, an invisible wall between you on the upper edge <clears throat> and between the bats that you see in front of you. So if they start shooting flames or whatever at you, they're not gonna hurt you. And just note, as soon as you jump down to the lower area, the wraiths or whatever those guys are called up here. And I hate those guys. I don't know why, but I struggle with them a lot. I just, they're just cheap, they go underneath the ground, uh, like fucking Sector in Mortal Kombat. I think it was Sector, anyway. It's just, they're unblockable and they suck and I hate them. You can skip them entirely if you want by destroying the rock formation in the middle, but I go ahead and kill them here just for the extra experience. And if you can, keep grabbing them and doing this over and over and over again. Because that's the only real way that you can kill them easily without them dipping under the ground like they always do. And I got very lucky to live through that. But that's why I fucking hate these guys. <laughs> 